Uni. So tell me about the sport. Got a very, very interesting contraption that you have there, a bicycle with one wheel. How does this work? It's uh, actually a very simple concept, counterintuitive, I'm sure. Uh, but the way it works is you are essentially balancing a pool cue or balancing an umbrella on your hand. If you want to balance this umbrella and move forward, you need the umbrella to tilt forwards and then you need to walk underneath it. Unfortunately, you are the umbrella when you ride it. So okay. <laughs> you fall forwards and then you pedal to keep the wheel underneath you. So the whole motion is actually to stop yourself from falling flat on your face by cycling as fast as you can. We, we prefer tilting and it's a little bit more controlled, but that's essentially the concept, yes. <laughs> Now, where did the sport of Muni start? Muni started with a man called, uh, well, we don't really know where it started. Someone, the first person to take a unicycle off-road probably started the sport. But as far as we know, the pioneer is Chris Holm, a Canadian. Uh, he's actually brought out a whole range of unicycles, the, the Chris Holm brand. And in Canada, he decided that it's a good idea to take these things off-road. And he is riding all over. He's riding on telephone poles uh, five meters above the forest floor. He's dropped, I think, 17 foot to the ground. And survived with and his unicycle. how many arms is he broken? <laughs> uh, I think he's had one knee injury. It's a very, very safe sport. Again, you wouldn't think so, but you are doing a sport at low speed. Uh, maximum on, on this wheel size is about um, <laughs> maybe 17 kilometers an hour versus 40 k's an hour on a mountain bike. Now, I'd, I'd actually like to try and, and get on one of these, but I think I'd before we do that, you. I think you must show me first how it's done, and then I'm going to try it out. Okay. So, the concept is quite simple. It's a fixed wheel. So you pedal forwards, you pedal backwards. There's no free wheel. I see everyone moving out okay, the way cool. over there. It's <laughs> very safe. Out so of the way what we're going there. to do, we're going to put, put our foot on the left pedal. <laughs> the pedal's going to face towards us. Okay. Uh, when you get on, I'm going to help you up there. But okay. essentially, you want to get up there. Wow, And you want to essentially so ride. The nice thing is you're very, you're very stable. You can approach an obstacle in the mountain. You can assess the obstacle, decide, yeah, okay, I can do it. And then you're more than happy oh, to yeah. jump down the obstacle. <laughs> okay, my turn, my turn, my turn. Your turn. Okay, so cool. what we're going to do over here, we're going to start yeah. with our left foot over there. The things I do for you, South Africa. <laughs> left foot on this side, I'm going to block the wheel. Okay. So now you want it. to sit on the saddle, just rearrange. Okay. Put your left hand on me. I left hand on you. And what you're going to do, you're going to jump up and just sit there. So yeah. jump up, sit there. I'm going to hold on to you. There we go. Okay. When you're ready, we can go forward. You're a pull cue, you're tilting forwards, and you're pedaling to keep underneath Tilting you. forward my head. Okay, wait. <laughs> wait, okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, here, there's the balance. I am the umbrella. I am the umbrella. You should sit holding me. No ways. Okay, but let's get back to Sean. Sean, tell us about the design of this particular one that you have. It's got some interesting bar handles and uh, something that looks like a brake. What's going on there? Can I be honest with you? Yes. Johnny's the man who knows about these <laughs> things. Um, working for Popular Mechanics magazine, mm -hmm. I, 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 I came across, across the sports in my research and that's why I chose to bring uh, Johnny in to talk about it. I do. Is this the one with the gears in the hub? This has got the gears Maybe you should chat about the gears the gear and, ch and ch chat about how Can the functions work. For you? Well, I'll tell you, you get different wheel sizes. 24 inch wheel for going down the mountain doing very technical stuff. The smaller the, the wheel, the more control you have. The bigger the wheel, the faster you go. Oh, I, I, I just thought it's the, it's the other way around. No, no, th this is our gearing. Uh, every time you're, uh, with, when you pedal around here, your feet travel the same uh, distance but the bigger wheel means that every time your feet travel in one circle, the bigger wheel goes further. So actually, you can go faster on this one, but you've got more control on the smaller wheel. So this is probably the most advanced unicycle we have at the moment, and we are riding from Durban to Cape Town off-road at the end of the year, which is why we've got all these accessories. So over here, we've got touring bars. Helps take a little bit of weight off the seat, gives us more stability. It doesn't help us to turn. It's just there for support. We've got a brake, which we don't use it to stop ourselves. You clamp the brake, you fall forwards yes. very, very quickly. Um, instead, it's to go when we go down hills. It slows ourselves down, saves our knees a little bit. Um, hydraulic rim brake and then this is a very new toy we got them last week it's uh -huh. an internally geared unicycle hub as i said earlier the unicycle cannot freewheel you need to be able to balance forwards and backwards by putting forward and Speaking backwards pressure which, why, why would i want to change my two-wheel bike for this one wheel bike you would want to change it because it's a very safe sport you can have your adrenaline rush at at 15 k's an hour Every, every obstacle on the ground becomes a challenge. It's far more <laughs> exciting to ride. It's, it's not a bicycle. You, you can't change it. It's yeah. like saying, um, why should I uh, use a surfboard when I could use a speedboat? <laughs> Completely different sport, even though you're both on the ocean. Well, hold that, but I think I'll stick to my, to my two-wheel bike for now. You guys stay tuned. This is Express on SABC3. We'll be right back after this break.